Hello guys, welcome to the next session of implementing CRUD operations using Angular version 16 and Spring Boot version 3. So till now in this series we have completed this application. So in this application we have seen how to perform the basic CRUD operations using um, uh, like using Angular UI and Spring, uh, Spring Boot APIs. So we have created this particular form and then we have one more screen where we can uh, show the uh, employee list and we have edit and delete action also. So in this session, I'll be just telling you how to set up this particular application on your local machine so that if you want any help from the coding uh, side, then you can just set up this project on your local machine and you can just uh, try to practice it. So we have already seen how to set up the APIs on the local machine. So in this session, I'll, I'll, be, just, I'll be just telling you how to set up the Angular application on your local machine. So let's see how to set up this. So now in order to set up the Angular UI on your local machine, what we have to do, we have to just go to this particular link. You will get this link into a description box. You can just uh, click on that link and you can just come to this particular page. And then we have to click on this code and then we have to copy this particular URL. If you want to download a zip file, you can just download the zip or you can just, if you just want to go with this uh, git bash and using some git commands, then you can just copy this particular URL. Now once the URL is copied, the next thing that we have to do is we have to go to the location where we want to uh, create this particular project. So I just want to create my project inside this uh, CRUD YouTube project folder. So we have to open a git bash or maybe a terminal at this particular location. So let me just open it. And then over here, the command that we have to use is git clone. And then we have to paste the URL that we have just copied. Now we have to just wait till the till it clones the repository. So once the repository is cloned, the next thing that we have to do is we have to open this particular folder inside a VS code. So let me just first of all open Visual Studio code and let me just open a new window. And then once we open the new window, we have to browse the folder that we have just cloned. So let me just browse this particular folder and we have to trust this yes now once we uh, once the folder is opened inside the visual studio code the very first thing that we have to do is we have to install all the packages that are required so let me just open the new terminal and let me just use the command npm install something like this and make sure you are connected to the internet in order to run these particular commands so now it will just take some time in order to install all the uh, packages and once all the packages are installed you will get some message something like this. Now um, the one thing that we have to take care is we have to just go to the SRC then we have to go to this uh, app and then we have the services like we have uh, employee service TS file over here we have a property or maybe a variable called as an API having value http colon slash slash localhost colon 9090 so 9090 is the port that i have given because uh, my services uh, were running on the 9090 port in in it might be some different for you it might be like your uh, services are running or some different port might be 8080 so accordingly if your services are running on different port then you have to give that different port number over here maybe 8080 something like this but as of now my services are running only on this 9090 so i will keep it as it is now once this is done we can just do one thing we can just open a new terminal again and then we can just run our application using ng serve command let me just wait till my application is running so now the application is started on uh, 4200 so what we have to do we have to just go to the favorite browser and then we have to just type localhost 4200 and once uh, once you get this particular home page it means that your application is running as expected one thing make sure your services are running as expected in order to like perform some operations so as of now my services are already up so I'll just click on this particular button over here if I just go to the employee list so as of now I have two different employees and uh, if I just maybe try to put some details over here something like this and let me just put some details and let me click on save yes now whatever we are saving uh, we are uh, like it is 
I'm getting saved into the database itself. If I just refresh it, we will get uh, like uh, the latest data. We can just delete, we can just edit, we can perform any operation that we want. So this is how you have to set up the Angular application on your local machine. If you still have any questions, let me know in the comment section and I will try my best to help out in that case. I hope you enjoyed this session. I'll see you in the next session.